Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Um, I haven't been posting a whole ton of a lot of videos lately. It's just been such a weird time. Um, I've been eating a lot of the same things over and over again, and so I haven't really felt like a what I eat in a day is um, really all that exciting. So I haven't done much of that. Um, as far as cleaning, I have been cleaning all day, every day, and my house is never clean. I'm purposely standing in front of a big mess behind me, so, you know, we're just doing the best we can over here, but that's not really that motivating for you guys to see me clean the whole house a hundred times a day and it never be clean, so I haven't done a video like that. The Airbnb situation is a little tricky, so I haven't had much to film for you guys about that. I haven't had much to do as far as food, but I have been eating this that I'm about to show you guys over and over in this past way and week and so I felt like it was time to share it with you guys. Um, it is zero points for me on the purple plan. It would have some points if you were blue or green especially because of the rice. So I've been using some brown rice which for me is a free food or a zero point food and um, it's kind of been hard to find it even in the grocery stores. Like every time I've bought it, it's been like the last one on the shelf. So um, if you can't find it, then you could definitely do this with white rice um, and just count the points for it. And it still would be pretty low in points because everything else is zero. So um, you also could add like make it like a dip and use some tortilla chips with it. Um, you could add some cheese on top. Since it's a zero point food, you have kind of some options to add some stuff to it. So. Anyway, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. It was something I felt like I could share with you guys that would maybe help you guys out too. Um, if you enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Once I have my Instant Pot out, I go ahead and get out half a cup of brown rice and add that to the bottom of the Instant Pot. And then I'll make a little bit of room in the middle of the Instant Pot to put the boneless skinless chicken breast. I have also used um, the ground turkey breast and I prefer the chicken but the ground turkey breast was also good so if that's what you have on hand go ahead and use that um, in the cooking time I did the exact same cooking time I don't count any points for this taco seasoning you'll see I don't really measure it out but I use a small amount and after it's split up into two servings it's just not worth measuring it out and all of that. And then I move on to cutting up the onion. I don't really cut it up very small. Um, it adds a little bit of flavor to the meal and it kind of bulks it up a little bit, but you'll see it kind of just completely disintegrates in the Instant Pot. Um, the amount of time I cook it really is too long for any vegetables, um, but I think it adds something to the food. So I add it in. And then I add in some zero point salsa. Um, this one is just one that my husband likes, so I already have it in the house, but there's plenty of salsas that are zero points. I'd say I add about half a cup over the chicken. Then I add the top to the Instant Pot and I put it on the ceiling setting and manual for 15 minutes. And once it beeps that it's done with that cooking time, then I let it slow release for about five minutes before I turn the quick release and let all the steam out. Once I open the lid, I take the chicken out. Um, I try and get some of that salsa off. And then I add in half a can of pinto beans or black beans and half a can of corn. I do drain the corn, but I don't drain the beans. And um, while it's sitting in there, it kind of warms up while I'm cutting up the chicken. Um, I prefer to cut my chicken up. I just like the texture of cut up chicken more than shredded chicken, but you can either cut it up or shred it. And then you just add it back in. And I, at this point, I switch mine over to saute and just let everything get all warmed up. 